Good day, welcome to Gwen Meditation. Today is uh, the first day of my fast, so I'm doing an experiment to see how fasting works for Parkinson's disease. If you haven't seen my videos before, I have Parkinson's and I don't take um, medication. I try to solve it naturally and I do a lot of different protocols. So a new one that I'm adding is um, fasting. Recently, in the last few weeks, I've been doing intermittent fasting where I basically don't eat from 6 at night until around 1 or 2 the next day and then I have a meal and then I have another meal around 6 and then that's all I've been eating and my weight's gone down 8 or 9 pounds so I'm sitting at around 171 pounds as I start this fast. and. Um, It'll be interesting to see what happens. Um, I, the longest I've ever gone on a fast is three days, so I'm going to play this one by ear and see um, how it goes. The reason why I'm fasting this time is there's a lot of new evidence out saying that Parkinson's might be a fungal infection, and my theory is that the fungus needs sugar, so a good way to um, find out if the disease is actually getting worse. Um, with the fungus getting fed crappy food and sugar is to just not eat at all and see what happens. I feel pretty good. Just came back from like a three kilometer walk and I was a little tired towards the end and um, had some water and felt better. Um, so we're going to see what happens with fasting. If you're interested in Parkinson's disease, if you have it or have a loved one with it, follow just um, some of my other videos are on total different topics, so you just whenever um, I make a video that's about Parkinson's disease, that will say that in the title. So if you just don't want to watch the other ones, just don't watch them. So um, this one will be, whenever you see it, it will be fasting for Parkinson's disease day one, which will be today, and then there will be other ones down if I find that this becomes a good thing to do. So my basic theory is to starve the fungus see if my skin clears up nothing else seems to really clear up the skin I've tried an azoral cream and stuff and nothing's worked so we'll see if um, the fungal infection goes away with fasting and then um, my plan after that is seeing introducing foods back in one by one and then watching what happens with my skin so I might just after the fast just eat um, say chicken or beef or carrots or something just one thing and then add an extra thing after a week and, and stuff so we'll see what happens it's, it's going to be interesting um, definitely hitting the 24 mar hour mark of the fast is the hard part where you start getting hunger pains and stuff and your body's trying to kick into gear um, it hasn't gone on the ketones properly yet probably so anyhow, we'll see what happens this is day one of fasting for Parkinson's and follow along if you want to see what happens. Take care.